all right then uh, welcome back everyone so let's solve this question how much does a uh, daytona cost let me read out the question for you we define an integer to be the most common on a subsegment if its number of occurrences on that subsegment is larger than any number of occurrences of any other integer in that subsegment now what is subsegment a subsegment of an array is a consecutive segment of elements in the array a so basically a subarray okay so we call an integer sub most common in a subsegment or in a subarray when its frequency is larger than the number of occurrence of any other integer okay so it's the most occurring element then you call it is a most common element no issues given an array a of size n and an integer k determine if there exists a non empty subsegment basically of size greater than equals to 1 of a where k is the most common element fine so let me let's see input uh, each test case yeah fine first line contains a single digit number of test cases then uh, n and k the size of array and k the number the integer k and second line contains each test case yeah so basically the array is defined here for each test case output yes if there exists a subsegment or basically sub array in which k is the most common element and no otherwise the subsegment has to be uh, a non empty one so basically the size greater than equals to 1 okay you can output the answer in any case fine no issues so let's see so what just happened here yeah okay so let's see so this was the first test case so array size is 5 and integer k so basically what we are after is this is k and this is n what we are after is whether in this sub array does there exist a sub segment where this 4 occurs 4 is the most occurring element so yeah you can see that this is the sub segment right here the 4's frequency is 2 and 3's frequency is 1 so in this sub segment there are two unique elements and where 4 is the most occurring element let's see this case so size of array is 4 and this is the k so is there a uh, sub segment where this one is occurring most number of times or one is not present in the array so anyway the answer is no let's see this uh this is size of array n so it's five elements and this is the k uh, is there a sub segment where the six is occurring like most number of times uh six is not present in the array so no here uh does there a sub segment in which uh, five occurs most number of times yeah definitely the sub segment like the sub array of size 1 here yeah uh, again sub segment like the segment of size 1 here yeah the segment of size 1 okay i think this is a very easy question in the sense what is happening here is uh, since the Uh, sub segment uh, can be non empty one yes. okay uh, okay i'm assuming that beginners are watching this video let me so here's what i found out like uh, here's what i observed that uh, we are after a sub segment like basically a non empty sub segment where k is the most common element right so k is occurring most number of times the sub segment is allowed to be of size greater than equals to 1 what is the sub segment size greater than equals to 1 so hear me out if k is present in the array there is always such sub segment existing right the sub segment containing that k itself right makes sense what i'm saying is uh, here i am looking after a sub segment in which four occurs most number of times now forget about uh, like forget about the sub segments of size 2 3 4 something if four exists in the array the sub segment consisting like the sub array consisting just four will be a required sub segment right because in this sub segment in this sub segment uh, k occurs most number of times one because no other element is present So this is actually a like a bonus question if you get in the contest. If so, the algorithm is pretty simple. If k is part of an array, then you got our subsegment. So yes, you can print yes. And what is that subsegment? The subsegment containing that array itself. And if k is not part of the array, you cannot get that subsegment, right? What kind of sub subsegment are we talking about? In which this guy occurs most number of times. K occurs most number of times. So this is a bonus question. Yeah, it explains why this was asked in div three. Let's uh, quickly solve it without wasting our time, sir. Okay, so these are the test cases. Uh, so, what is that? Uh, first is t. Test case is fine. Then, uh, then we have int n k, c n n c n k. Then let's take the array input. Let's take the array input then. So for int i equals to zero, i less than n, i plus plus, i plus plus, c n array of i. So what we need to check is uh, whether this guy is present in array or not. So that can be done using a simple linear search, right? So if array dot find if array dot find k not equals to array dot n, so I'm sh I think this find method exists for an array, right? Uh, this should exist. Let's see. Now if it doesn't exist, throw an error. Then we can maybe use a map. So yeah, okay. What I'm doing is I've just taken the input here, uh, n k array, and I'm just finding this uh, guy in the array. Okay. So if it is present, then yes, there is a subsegment. What is that subsegment? the subarray of size 1 which contains that element k otherwise print no new line 
fine. So let's just run it and see. Yeah, so vector is no member named find. So I don't think vector uh, has this method of find. So what I can do is, uh, mm, I can just maybe run a loop. Uh, what I can do is I can just maintain a variable bool found equals to false. And if some, if after reading the input, after reading the input, if area of i was equals to k, I can just update this found to true, right? So if found, basically found means, so what I did is while taking the input only, I'm checking it. You can make a one more scan to, through the array after taking the array input. But here what I did is, uh, hmm. what I did is uh, after taking the input, after taking the input, I'm checking whether it's equal to k, then I'm saying, okay, k is there in the array. So if k is there in the array, k is there in the array, print yes, otherwise no. Yeah, let's see. Yes, no, 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 yes, yes, fine. So let me just quickly submit it. Don't think there's much to discuss in this one. That's why I ran it quickly. Let me just submit it and see whether it works. Yeah, it works. Let me just see like uh, what was uh, the code that I submitted earlier. I don't even remember it. Yeah, I actually created a, a set. I created a set and inserted all the elements. So this is another way you can see. So in our code, what we did is while taking the input only, we uh, checked if it is equally, it, if some element is equal to k. Uh, after taking the input, if k was present in the array, print yes, because the subsegment exists. Otherwise, no. This is another way. Uh, initialize the set and insert the elements. And if you are finding k in the set, then seen dot uh, if k is present in the set basically if uh, if it k is found in the set this is going to return a traitor to that element it's otherwise it's going to return scene dot end right so yeah that's that time complexity order of n right nothing much so yeah thank you for watching i will see you in the next one